Hi traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. So today in this video we are going to analyze Bank Nifty on multiple time frames and then we will get started on options strategies and see what, what new thing we can learn in this video. Let's get started. So here you can see that uh, I am on a Bank Nifty monthly chart. So I have drawn these two lines now so this is the major trend line as you can see the market has come down till this major trend line and then reversed from there but now we are at a spot the market has formed a double top so we can expect a certain kind of fall in this which you can be easily able to identify in the lower time frame so this is on a monthly trend monthly candle still looks bullish and we are yet to complete the month so we will see if this high what is the high here 32613 and the second high is 32718 so this high is already broken so we have to wait and watch if the candle closes as a 50% candle or a full candle if it is a full candle then there is a possibility then market can go higher and also we need to look at the other factors in, uh, which are happening at a national level and uh, you know those will also have a good impact in terms of positivity in the overall market so let's go to a weekly time frame so on a weekly time frame i am able to see a narrow range candle which is for the last week last week was completely there was a very less participation from the fii in terms of buying and the market didn't go anywhere it sustained there so if we look at the future chart then we will be able to understand if what was the volume so let's shift to the futures chart so i've taken nifty bank index continuous current contract in front so what this chart tells you is it gives you all the previous charts it's a running chart so you don't have to see only one contract that is one month uh, contract so here you can see the volume was not pretty high on this if the market would have reversed the volume will give you an indication that it will be higher more than uh, the usual uh, volume so the average volume what we are having is about 32.722 million so which is not met so still there is a scope the market can go higher from here uh, let's see from a different point of view on a daily time frame so on a daily time frame uh, let's uh, draw a trend line from here let's see how it looks so this will be our trend line okay so here it is straight in line and it retraced once here and twice here and now it is can come back and retrace once again to continue in the trend it looks like it's in the wave 3 now wave 1 wave 2 and wave 3 so wave 3 is always the longest so let's see how long this wave 3 is going to last from here that is as per the Elliott wave uh, principles okay so when you learn things in the market you have to apply everything together and try to see whether you always have to uh, compare that this trend line is showing positive but is there any other thing which is also indicating that is there any, so you are trying to improve your odds you are improving your odds by adding multiple things and multiple uh, uh, analysis so that your accuracy and probability of winning becomes higher so now we will go to a hourly chart and see how is the market early chart i can see there is a bit of downtrend which has started from here okay so i'm just taking the wicks which are touching the line so this downtrend has started on a hourly chart and coming to a 15 minute chart you can very clearly see it it is completely in downtrend it is coming back to this level and dropped coming back to this level and then drop now again at this level it can drop 
So how did the market behave on a Friday? Fridays are usually the days when the premiums do not decay because that's the first day of the expiry, next expiry. And uh, uh, for option sellers, that's not the day where you're going to sell options because most of the time there will be a trending day on Fridays. So whatever uh, sideways market happens on Thursdays, mostly that is getting compensated on a Friday with a major move and giving the direction to the market. So the first day of the next expiry, they give a direction to the market and next on Monday, Tuesday, on Monday or Tuesday, it follows into a sideways pattern and again on Wednesdays and Thursday, it will follow the trend which was created on the Friday. So that will be the cycle of the weekly expiry. So always keep that in mind and so basis this as you can see it was a clear you now what are the setups we have got here so for example this was one of the setup where the price was away from VWAP away from 20 period moving average and then it formed a green candle so this after the high is broken of this green candle you have to take an entry so always look out for a fall whenever the market is falling always wait for this uh, big candles to complete and see if there is any green candle forming the moment you see a green candle formed and closed immediately jump in do not uh, jump in when the candle is forming because uh, most of the times it can form start forming green and later buying pressure comes and becomes red so hold on let this candle get completed and then you jump into the candle and a stop loss will be below this previous swing low okay so this was the low and you will get a trade which is like very less of a risk of hitting the stop loss even if it hits the stop loss you will not lose major money because it is only one bar which you are going to lose so this concept will actually work beautifully if you have a uh, start trading in good quantity and maintain your psychology and you have to take only the trades which are away from 20 period moving average like this or away from VWAP like this and giving you this kind of pattern same applies for the price going upwards also whenever you see price away from uh, 20 period moving average and then forming a topping tail bar like this with a volume like this so then you can go for a short entry and your stop loss will be above this so in both the scenarios your loss will be only this bar and this bar even if you lose doesn't matter you will lose small but if the stop loss is not hit you see how much kind of a gain okay so this is the gain you will get and you will exit once you reach your maximum target you can put a 1 is 2 5 whatever is this bar versus maybe you can take up to 10 to 12 bars so mostly you can get up to 30 points 40 points easily in this kind of trades so this is the pattern you should find and trade if you are a scalper otherwise you can apply the same principles on a bigger time frame if you are doing a swing trading swing trading also you will find out these kind of patterns on a daily time frames like this and then take your position and sit till the time you don't see any trend change here again there was an addition and then it went up like that so this is about bank nifty see uh, why i only trade bank nifty is because i am trying to master bank nifty I want to understand how it moves and I've been trading bank nifty for last uh, two two and a half years now and uh, I am comfortable in that and I always trade with hedged positions and strategies so right now let me show you what kind of position I am holding as you can see the market is giving an indication of a downward direction so I am holding a position here which I will show it to you so I am holding a butterfly this is called as a butterfly where we have bought a 32400 put okay 32400 put and then we sold 500 point away put double the quantity then we bought 500 point away put equal to the quantity we buy so this buying quantity is 8 selling quantity is 8 so it has become equal and you will see this pyramid is because of this 
so you can see if the market falls into this in the next week which is a range of about uh, Three one three one four nine three minus three two three zero seven is equal to about eight hundred and fourteen points range. So if market opens on Monday in this center, I will quickly close this position and wait for the direction and then create another position. Maybe little to move this and create a new position on the downward side. So that's how you can keep shifting the market and if you're not clear about the direction then create one butterfly downward one butterfly upward and wait so this is a very simple strategy and the beauty of this strategy is here I'm just waiting for my epic pen to appear yes so beauty of this strategy is here you can have a look at this your maximum profit is 40,000 your maximum loss is 9,000 probability of profit is 27 that is because it is considering these two things so it shows as probability of profit is less but in realistic scenario if your technical analysis is right you're expecting the market to go down from where it is so it will definitely come into this zone and it is a 1 is to 4.3 that means this is what is 1 is to 4.3 lose when you go wrong is 9000 make profit if you go right is about 40,000 so this way even if you lose uh, 4 trades continuously and pin in 1 trade you will compensate your loss that is what 1 is to 4.37 tells us so this is a good strategy guys and very worry free strategy and you can become successful if you uh, if you have like 20 30 lakhs of capital and start doing only this you will definitely grow your capital you can sit on good profits every month and there are various other strategies like this you can adjust and you can play around with this quantities and you know still the position can be really good your risk will maximum loss will a little increase but still if you want to bring this cover this entire loss that also is possible uh, it is it is a simple technique that uh, you need to see for example if I say that market turns bullish I can sell more puts okay my view goes wrong and market starts moving up i can sell puts then my upside loss is completely gone market will go forward i will make about 5100 market again comes back into this zone so i'll make more profit because here we have our pyramid and this is the butterfly strategy which is beautiful if you see uh, your loss is undefined here because here it is factoring this fall which is uh, which is a possibility to the least but probability of profit you see 40 74 percent because we have taken down this loss here so like that so if you want to then change the direction on this side you can definitely do that by adding more put quantity here see the direction has changed because in buying the direction will change like this and your probability is 46 but your max loss is 35,000 if the market goes up if the market goes in your favor see you have maximum profit which is about 1 lakh plus but these are on paper but actual reality before expiry it can stay somewhere here only and you can exit with uh, 10,000 profit and close it so this is how you can trade safely guys and uh, manage your positions basis the market so first thing is you need to have your proper technical analysis once your technical analysis is right then play around with these strategies and change according to the market don't be rigid that i have made the position like this the market will have to come to me in this way no the market will never come to you in your direction 
you have to follow the market if the market is changing the direction and you're getting an indication with all the odds then definitely you can change your strategy and adjust your position so that you can come out profitably even if you don't adjust a position in this like our initial position you can definitely close the position and then create another butterfly according to the direction of the market so it's not a big deal you can always cover it up in a next trade so here I am seeing a total loss of about 2465 which is a notional loss which is not booked so anyways this position was created on Friday they will be time decay when it opens on Monday and this loss will be covered and if it comes into this zone then the profit will be higher in this so that's it for this week guys and uh, I hope you are learning from these videos and uh, please do subscribe and comment and share your views and uh, have a great weekend thank you so much for watching